Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to episode 17 of um, Project Architect. And yesterday's episode, I made, um, made a reactor, a bigger reactor, and it's in a TARDIS-like pocket dimension. It's in, um, a, a, what do you call it? Compact machine. That's it. I want to call it the TARDIS. Because obviously it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Um, so yeah, did that. I put up some extra gargantuan storage and it's filled it all up nicely. And um, GM3, not GM3, sorry, that's too early in the morning for me. JM3. Um, he said that, you know, I thought there was something there. Might be time to look at Draconic Evolution for your storage, power storage, which is true. So I was going to do the RF Tools Dimension today. We might get to, we might get to that start. Um, I've updated the pack. You've probably noticed um, I've gone back to the two the two map mods are up there. Um, is it Y? Yes. Y brings up the map settings for Zero's mod, Zero's map mod, which is the square one. Um, I always turn it off because I don't need it. All right? Uh, did it? Has it deleted? Yeah, my waypoints are, are gone, which are fine. I mean, my map waypoint, not my map. Oh, I didn't bring over my map waypoints for this mod. What is it? FTB. I'm going to have to do that at some point because I've lost all my waypoints. So I'll have to look, I'll have to find out what that file is and bring it over. Um, yes, back to today. Uh, yesterday, well, I was, when I recorded the mob farm, it kind of exploded. I had stuff all over the place. These two chests are full of all the stuff that was lying around. Obviously, that made, you know, the, um, my world very laggy. And this stuff had the extra dimlets that were in here. So, obviously, if there's dimlets, it can't, you know, it didn't have any space for anything. So, what I did, you can turn off the mob farm, as in, like, stop it producing, by putting a, I had four dispensers. I think those are dispensers. And not droppers. Yes, they are dispensers. Um, I had four, but in reality, I only needed one. I found it really hard to work out because obviously the mob farm was in production at the time. But I found it really hard to rotate it so that it was facing the correct way. So the one, the two on this side, on the left hand side, are facing the right way, but the two on the right hand side aren't, as you can see. So they're just there for decoration, obviously. But um, basically, you put in a bucket of water, you put a switch on it, on the back. You can just about see the switch pop, uh, popping out. And then um, you turn it on, it will put a bucket of water across the cursed earth. And that turns it off, because obviously nothing can spawn on it. The only reason why things are still spawning is because I have the two spawners. Oh, I thought that, I thought the blaze was outside for a second. I was about to start freaking. Well, I shouldn't have to freak out. I've got the Qatar. That's fine. It one-shots them. But um, the water turns off the cursed earth without destroying it. And then when I'm ready, I can just um, turn it back off again. And everything works. And um, also, uh, JM3 also mentioned I should fully upgrade the, um, the mob masher. If I do that, upgrade everything up to 10, put in all the upgrades and max them out to 10, that will one-shot everything. And then I don't have to worry so much about coming back and finding 15 million mobs waiting to be killed. So I'm going to do that quickly. Um, let's have a look. Control G. Oh, and the other thing. Um, to empty out these, um, these two chests quickly. I'm going to use the entangled block and link them up 
to the uh, EMC link up here. So this entangled binder is linked to the energy condenser. That could work, yeah. As linked to the energy ed ed led ugh. again too early in the morning. It's linked to the energy condenser that I can link also link that block to the energy condenser and it will put everything into the energy condenser that it can condense and send it into our system. Right. So. Ah, crap. I keep forgetting. Don't shift. Don't shift. Ah, entangled block. No. Okay. Go back. Right. And click. There you go. Oh dear. I I don't know. I I don't know. Right, we need <laughs> we need an item pipe. We're gonna need two, aren't we? We're gonna need two. I thought I was being super organized and I wasn't item pipe I'm trying to be more organized because I am naturally not a very organized person so I have lots of lists all over the place and I mean it doesn't really help that I love a notebook so I'm always making lists and using pens because I just love new pens that is just my thing right so that should that pulling out are you no because I did that the wrong way around I don't want it I don't want it to pull out from the chest I want to pull in the entangled block is that working I can't tell is anything moving? It doesn't look like it. That should have worked. That doesn't look like it's working. Why are you not working? Our chemical chest. Pull out from the entangled block into the alchemical, into the alchemical chest. So, I should be able to... No, I think I had it right the first time. Uh, make sure it's underneath. Yes, it was working. I just didn't realise it. Okay, so let's put an up... If I put an upgrade in that... If I put the ultimate pipe upgrade... It doesn't say... Let's try one. Is that going to suck it out any quicker? And um, whitelist. Yes, it does. It pulls out stacks of stuff. All right, and we need another pipe. Um, just one. So I need another another upgrade in that as well. Um, right. But we've got nine billion, nine billion EMC, which is pretty cool. I do want to see just how much EMC I can get. I do remember playing um. Oh, uh, a job for the a job for a mage, and I in that that pack was also very OP because it wanted you to focus on other things and not having to collect EMC. So I had all the EMC collectors and the power flowers and everything else, but that had a mod that had a, um, a guidebook, so that guided you through everything, which is why I don't remember half of what I'm what I did, and. Um, I do remember maxing out the EMC in that. There was lots of numbers. I can't remember at just how much EMC was in it. it. May have been 
three sets of nines on everything. It may have been that. So that is what, 999 trillion, maybe? We'll see. Right, anyway, uh, mob upgrades. So control G again, and we want uh, mob. There you go. So not those. So we want the absorption radius upgrade. All right. So we want 10 of those. Said max 10, right? Max of six. Okay. So we don't want 10 of those. We want six of those. We want, oh god, those are, yeah, I've been getting stuff from Alex's mobs as well. They're not EMC-able, so that's a bit of a, of a bummer. Ah, uh, let me see, Bane of, Arth Bane of Arthropods. We want ten of those. Nine, there you go. Uh, beheading on 10. What are we missing? We don't have any golden helmets. Oh, that's interesting. I thought we did. All right, let's clear you out. Let's get some gold. Um, that is the jankiest helmet I've ever seen. There you go, Bob. <laughs> I did tell you, it is way too early in the morning for me. Well, I shouldn't say that, but, you know. It is... I've... Uh, yeah, I need something to wake me up. Uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Max 10. See? I'm talking rubbish. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. You did Bane of Arthropods. It was the beheading. We made a golden helmet. I dropped it in. Are you going to... Is it doing that thing again where it... Alright. Do I need to turn my system on and off? Because I've seen other mod packs... Actually, let's use this. I've seen other mod packs where the, uh, the um, refined storage system... It doesn't... You go on and it doesn't like it. It doesn't go. It doesn't see things, and you have to turn it on and off again. Didn't I just make a gold helmet and drop it in? Okay, let's let's have a look. It's only one. Okay, why you know? It should have learnt it. There you go. It should have learnt it. I don't know why. Okay, let's try that again. Beheading, and we want 10 of those. Uh, upgrade fire. Looting. Didn't I put on looting? I might have done. Which is probably why the mob farm was... was exploding. I think I did put on looting. Ah, sharpness and smite. Okay. Right, let's turn you off for a second. Oh, that probably got sucked into the EMC thing. All right, so I had looting already. That's fine. Absorption radius. Really? I thought that was for the... Uh... So what's that for then? Hmm, don't know. Right, so we have everything. We need some dirt, and then hopefully we don't have to deal with this again. Oh, we also need a lever. Oh, that turned it on. I didn't know it does that. Didn't know it did that. All right, well, anyhow, that's going. That's working. That's not full. All right, the dimlets, we're going to have to pull those out. 
and I have no more sides to. Um, all right, we're gonna have to take off these two. All right, I'm gonna be back in a second. So, um, I was go, I was in the middle of, you know, transferring stuff, and then these jokers showed up. Oh, look, there's one guy up there. They're, they're just there watching me, and I took no notice. And then they just decided, let's come. So, there you go. That's what you get. And where are you? Right, so that's that. <sighs> the things you do while you're recording. Um, yeah, I ran into... I, the reason why I haven't done this yet, I was there thinking, where do I want to put the dimlets? And I was thinking, if I put down a storage block and uh, RF storage, a uh, refined storage, storage block, and, um, and the crafting grid next to it, then I could see those dimlets. I don't know. I, I, I'm not quite sure what to do. Maybe I should just link this chest to that chest. But then that's not really solving the problem either. And also I've noticed that oh now it's now they're pulling out. No, it's still these things have EMC, but they're not going into the system. I'm not sure why. Unless it's a visual glitch. No, it's not a visual glitch. I I don't know. Because they should have been pulled out. Both have EMC. All apart from the, the dimlets, all of this stuff has EMC. It should be pulled into the system. I'm not sure why it hasn't pulled into the system. So, um Yeah. So I like I said, I don't know what to do with these dimlets. But this stuff is coping. It's doing fine. Maybe I don't have to worry about these dimlets right now. Maybe. I I don't know. But yeah, I will uh, I will fix that later because I've spent way too long on this and I haven't actually done what I wanted to do for this episode, which was to look at the beginnings of draconic evolution because if we're going to use that for our power our power storage because I know they have that really huge reactor thing and i was thinking about putting it in maybe putting it in the cave i don't know why i'm running around like a mad woman because you know but yeah maybe if i put it in here and just have it floating that would be kind of cool i think that would be you know that would be cool i think Or maybe to have it, have it over the base. See, they're all running to, to... I'm so popular. My subjects love me so much. They just all run to meet me. So, um, yeah. I don't know. But anyhow. Draconic Evolution. Let's go have... Oh, these are EMCable as well now. Which is good. Oh, that felt really cool. That just that that was actually. Can we do that again? Watch it. It just drops straight down like a spike. That is actually awesome. Right. Anyway, um, sidetracked again. As usual, I think we might have to start a drinking game every time I get sidetracked. You take a shot of your beverage of choice. And for those of you who were, uh, you know, might take something a little bit harder, you might be drunk by the end of the episode. Who knows? Um, right, so let's put this in. 
just these things it has a problem with. Why? That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. I mean, these are not EMCable. But that is? I don't get it. I may. I don't know. Right. I'm. See? Sidetracked again. Right. Draconic Evolution. Control G. Um. All right. Does this have any kind of um manual? Because I've seen it. It looks cool, but I really don't know what I need to do. Uh, I'm not seeing anything manual like. Have a look. We have enchanted books. We have modules. Mob grinder. Oh, it has a mob grinder. And a generator. I'm sure it used to have a manual. Because I've only really used it once in... I think it was way back 1.12 maybe there was another another emc pack and they had it no it might have been before that but i seem to remember they had i think it was 1.12 and they had um draconic evolution so i managed to do some of the stuff but not everything and i was walked through it by a friend so i don't know right there's no manual that's great um maybe if we look at the achievements uh where are we um don't forget to rest oh what's this make a crack the ultimate trash can i made a trash can i made a trash can Okay, that's done. Um, colossal chests are in this. I forgot about that. Refined storage. Not really in straight pod. Why is that floating behind there? It's a bit like... <laughs> guess guess the mod. Uh, tombstone, Alex. Belongs in a museum. What's that? Oh, the barrels thing. Husbandry, architects, nether. No, there is nothing for draconic. More villagers, tinker in training. Great. So what do I... What do I do? I mean, I don't want to go and watch another video. I want to try and see if I can work it out. But some of these mods make it really hard for you to get into it. Because... Just looking at what they have it, it it makes no sense you have books you have enchanted books you have modules i know you have the modules i know you have the armor i know you can make a dislocator but there's nothing i know we need draconium dust so maybe what i need uh stand and fermented meat and a drink. what industrial full going okay i think we're gonna have to make an rf tools builder all right so you've got uh where is it there you go let's make one of these what do we not have a machine frame i thought i did have a machine frame well i do now um okay so we have a builder now we also need a point possibly you could also start a drinking game for every time i misspell something you will definitely be drunk by the end of the episode but only if you're an adult not not if you're under the legal drinking age i hasten to add um right we have that uh we need the builder we need that we need a shape card 
Okay, so we need a shape card. And I'm guessing the shape card is a basis for everything else. Right, so let's make the shape card. Drop you in. Then we want a quarry, clearing quarry. The clearing quarry clears out everything. The quarry fills up with dirt. Missing a diamond shovel. Okay, so we want that. And what else do we need? We need an inventory. So we need, um, I think we'd use an ender chest. This one I'd already, I, I placed down in the world. I think once you place something like this down in the world, it changes the NBT. So when you put it in, it sees it as a different, it, it, sees, it sees that it's different. Because I didn't do anything to the ender chest. I just took it out, put it down on the ground, and then picked it up and dropped it back in the system. And I guess it sees it as, as used. I don't know. It's a bit, a bit random. But that's my theory. And we need another ender chest. We want some dye. I know... Uh, yeah, I've never... We need six of those, because we want both of them. Yeah, I've never really... I've never really played with the RS2 RF tools builder because it just make I don't know I it just seems a bit it's, it seems too complicated. I know it's not but it just seems like it is. Right. So where should we put it? Should we just go down to the bottom of the mine? But then I don't really want it to clear out Well, anyhow, let's go to the bottom of the mine. And let's go from there. See you guys in a second. Okay, I'm down at the bottom of the stairs in my mine. And this is where I had lots of fun with the um, guitar. With the guitar? No, the Morning Star. I just started mining. <laughs> Went to town. And um, I had a lot of fun, I have to admit. I do wish the flat bedrock mod was in here because this is a pain to navigate. Right, so I think our base is back there. Let's move across just a little bit. Right. And let's drop down in a hole. Actually, let's go here. We need power. There's our point. All right, and we want to call this RF Quarry. We want this chunk loaded because we want it running. That's that. That's full. Now we put in the shape card, a shift, and it represents an area. Sneak right click on the builder to mark the mode and then right click on the two corners of the wanted area. Okay. Um, so sneak right click. First corner. I guess here. Second corner. There. Now that's not very big. And then we can, where does this go? Here. So that's got coordinates. Now can I see redstone on to activate? Let's leave that for now. No, hi no, no highlighting. That's an interesting way to spell highlighting. Uh, no, highlight. No, we don't want to do that. We want a... Oh, that support preview mode disabled. Okay. No, now it's enabled. Alright, so how... That's what I wanted. 
Right, so you want a solid block. The dimensions, now I know this is the X, Y, and the Z. So if we start at zero, and the X, how big of a box? If we put, if we put a chunk, so that's what, 64, maybe? I don't know. No, 512 is a bit much. 64, Y, 0. How's that going to look? I missed the visual representation that they had. Offset, I have no idea what that means. We can void. Now, do we want to void all these things? Because they can all produce EMC. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to leave that for now. If we put the preview, I have no idea where it's. I don't know. Let's just. No, you. Oh, we need redstone. We need a lever. Okay. I want a pickaxe. My mind just went blank for a second. Um, right, do I have anything to make a pickaxe with? Seriously? Nothing? Not even any wood? Limestone, no. Oh, oh no, transmutation table. <laughs> oh, I am so out of my depth. It's not even funny. If I use the dark matter axe, do uh, I can't remember how I would charge that. I will look at that in a second. Um, oh, end. I think that was... Ah, there you go. Right. Um Ooh. All right, so oh, we had a lever. <laughs> <sighs> right. Let's turn you on. Okay. That scanned very quickly. All right, let's try something else because the X and Y thing does not help me. Shift right click. Now select the first corner. Um, here. Now the second corner. Go up here. I know we're supposed to shift. Ah, I don't know where that went. Right, now that's installed, we open, okay, that's better, that's better. And then if we look at the card GUI, 10, 8, and 13. 10 by, that 10 by 13? Because I want to understand this. I. Like I said, I don't really understand it. That looks like one, two. Now that'd be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Right, that's where the thirteen comes in. So it's ten high, thirteen across and what's the eight for one two three four five oh one two three four five six i thought maybe the inside would be eight 
I don't know. I'm not sure where the eight comes in. But, okay. So, that's the high. That's the across. Not sure what the eight is. Right. So then, if I make this... 64 high and 64 across that's better no that's not across so where does where does the 8 come in That's the length. That was 64 across. Hello. That's 64 across, but that's not the height. All right. Maybe if I make it, if I make that eight as well. Not eight, sorry. If I make that 64. Oh, that's just moved it. Maybe it is 64 high. I just can't see it because, you know, we've got blocks in the way. Oh, so that... But why... Why did it move it? I don't understand. Not sure why I understand why, but... Um... All right, if I put it at zero. Oh, no. If I put it at zero, I can't see it. It's that down there. That's two. Okay, let's change this. I'm sorry if this is really painful for you guys to watch, but like I said, I want to understand it because I don't get it, as you can see. All right, if I change this to four, oh, if I change that to four, but now it's squashed it. I don't understand. I thought that would have been like where it started. That's got to be the height of the box, then. Oh, offset by two. If I put the offset to zero, that's not a zero. All right, if I put the offset to zero on all of them, that means it's centered around the builder, right? Or it's centered around. Why are you this way? <laughs> but you're in there. Yes, it's centered around the builder. All right, if I can. Yes. So now I'm guessing that's going to go all the way up to Y level 64. That's not under our base. So that should turn all of this. It should turn all of this into... Oh gosh, now I can't get out. Okay, I get that. I get that. All right. So if we start scanning now, not enough room or no usable storage. Right, so let's put you down. I should have put that down in the base. Didn't think about that one. Uh, you want three greens. Okay, right. Let's go back up to the base. I will see you guys. Ooh. 
All right, um, I'm back on the base. I'm here trying to work out what to do. I think I'm just going to put a um, importer. It's an importer that I would need. Let's just test that out. I always get... Because um, I mean, I think... Let's get both just in case. Because I... I think it's importing into the system and exporting out. Um, and don't don't the arrows? No, I think it's the other way around. Oh, did I ever make the wrench for um, refined storage? Now I think about it. No, I never made it. Yeah, that's coming out. The arrows pointing out, so the importer takes it out of the system. Yeah, I knew it was something stupid like that. Does that not... That just moves it. That doesn't take it off. Uh, that's the exporter. Alright, so if I put that... No, maybe I got it wrong. Yeah, I told you, I always... Ugh. Exporter, importer. Yeah. I don't know why that always... I don't know why that always confuses me. Oh yeah, the arrow is correct. Out of the box, into the system. And that's an importer, so it's imported into... I don't know why I don't get my head around it. Alright, we want a stack upgrade. That's where the stack upgrade would come in, right? Is it a stack upgrade? All speed. All right, let's have a look. What are you? Oh, hello. What were you? Oh. <laughs> okay. What? What did I just kill? Um, uh, can I, s uh, a stray? Was it a stray? I don't think it was a stray. It had a hat on. Maybe it was a, a forgotten. What on earth is a forgotten? Enderling. What was an enderling? Just been killing stuff, and I have no idea. Cave centipede, a whale. I don't know. Right. Um. Sidetracked again. For those of you keeping track, if you don't want to drink, you can also turn it into bingo. Uh. Let's see. Turn you on. Okay. You're not exporting. Why are you not exporting? Because the stack upgrade is not what we wanted? Um, maybe because <laughs> it's not the stack upgrade. It might help if I actually color code the two things so that they match. Oh dear me. Right. I don't know how to make this faster. Items, ignore redstone signal, exact mode on. That's going up. Why is it not just pulling everything into... Oh. But why is it only pulling everything just through one slot? That's what I don't understand. It's adding to these. For some reason, it's adding, it's adding to these, but it's pulling it out really slowly. And I don't understand why it's only working in one slot. All right, let's do a fix until I work out what it's doing. Um, you want an item pipe? We want an alchemical chest. We, 
Now I'm not going to do a colossal chest because I have no. I have to dig up the floor and stuff. I don't want to do that. All right. If I use an alchemical chest as a buffer. All right. So that's going in slowly. We need the upgrade. Can you shift click those into place? Yes, you can. Right. That's better. Now these are going up and it's only pulling from one slot. And now it, now it's pulling from everything else. I don't, I honestly don't understand how this works. The only problem with this that I can see is that we're going to end up with ores and the ores need to be processed. How's our this looking? 6k. It's going to fill up our disk really fast. Control G. Right. Yeah, so until I work out how this, why it isn't just dropping in why well, it's only using the one slot. I don't understand. Because it can't be the stat. It... Hmm. I'm going to have to investigate that. But anyway, we it's doing what we want it to do. I don't know how much draconic. All right. It's not finding any. It's finding ores. Hmm. Okay. This might also be off offline because I'm not going to do this now because this episode is way too long. Yeah, it's way too long. I'm going to set up a crafter and auto craft. This is what I'm thinking about doing. Set up a crafter, send the ores to a redstone furnace and the redstone furnace puts it into the oak chest right i think that's the best thing to do oh we full i didn't even see that yeah i think that's i think that's gonna be my my project for the next episode what chest did i get was it a normal oak chest that no, was quark oak chest can those go together i doubt very much yeah two separate chests i thought so um what did i just i i just took something what a what a forgotten oh from the forgotten okay uh oak chest but yeah, that's going to be my, my thing. I'm not going to do it on camera because, I mean, like I said, this was painful enough to watch. And I will work, I'll, I'll work it out, then I'll explain what I've done. Yeah, because that should be... Why is it doing it like that? That's interesting. That is interesting. But anyway, right. Um I will do it. I'll 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 work it out and then I'll explain to you guys what I've done. So yeah, we've got we got something started. We've got the RF tools builder, so that's bringing in stuff to EMC. Um I cleaned up the mob farm. So that's going. That should be all right. Let's have a quick check on that. Yeah, that's fine. And, um, yeah, cleaned up the mob farm, did that, and started the Arf Tools Builder so that we can start looking for Draconium Ore, which I know we would need. Although it doesn't seem to be finding any. Oh, it's fine. It's found a little bit because I had um, 29 before and now it's found 32. So that is... Maybe we'll have to look at other ways. What was the other way? 
uh, fermented or meat. And how do you get fermented or meat? Ferment fermentation station. And how do you make that? Simple machine frame. That means we need to go into industrial foregoing. Do I really? I, does the dust, do we only need the, what do we use the dust for though? Uh, obsidian to make the potenti potentium meat, potentiometer? Oh, we need it for the dislocator and the dislocator is not EMCable. None of these things are EMCable. Apart from the draconian ingot. So that, that is a pain. Let me take one and smelt it so at least we've got the ingots. At least we've got the ingots so we don't have to worry about that but you use the dust for other things. Yeah. So yeah, I I don't know. I really don't know. But our our disc is only one percent full. So yeah, that's that's it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of video watching, a lot of googling just to find out what I want to know. And of course, um, I know you guys in the comments will always help and give me some really useful tips. Because even if I haven't shouted you out by name, because sometimes. Somebody will tell me something and I'll be like, yeah, that sounds brilliant. And then I'll forget, I'll do it. And then I'll forget to shout you out. So even if I haven't shouted you out personally by name, I do read all the comments. Sometimes it does get me a little bit of time to get there. But I do read the comments and they are all brilliant. And, you know, it just adds to my pool of, very limited pool of knowledge. So thanks very much, guys. So, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.